I'm on the hunt for a sea creature that has been attacking fishermen off Mexico's Baja Peninsula. A fearsome predator that inflicts unusual bite marks. My search for clues to the identity of the beast has led me to a location described as a cementerio. At first, it doesn't look like there's much here. This looks like just the kind of place where people um, throw dead fish, which I suppose you could call a cemetery of sorts. So this is... Uh, I don't know, what's that? That's a parrotfish or something like that. Mm. There's a strong stench of dead flesh, but I'm still wondering why I've been sent here when something catches my eye. This is different, this is something different here. Suddenly, I'm surrounded by corpses. Uh, this is a shark. Oh, and I'm almost stepping on something here. I think this is probably another individual. There's the pelvic fins and there's one of the claspers. So this was a male shark. And uh, this is... I'm assuming this is from the same individual. This is part of the tail. This is quite a large, quite a large shark and fresh. Something over here. That's hammerhead. Things are suddenly starting to add up and this creepy location is beginning to make sense. So this is quite interesting. No sharks coming in at the port when I was there and also people very clearly saying nobody's catching sharks, but somebody is. And the fact that they're here on this deserted beach, not in the middle of the town, suggests that it's, you know, a bit on the shady side, shall we say. I'm guessing there's a local ban on shark fishing and they're being caught illegally. In my experience, fishing bans are put in place when an animal is in serious decline. This may be a clue for my investigation. Nature hates a vacuum, and if the normal top predators are being removed, that could allow something else to take over. And perhaps that creature is behind the attacks I've heard about. <laughs> 